Welcome back, Truth Seeker. The Flat Earthers continue to ask questions as if they're not hearing anything I'm saying. If the Earth were a flat disk, it means that everyone on the Earth would look up at essentially the same sky. It means that no matter where you were in the world, you'd be able to see the same constellations of stars. We know that this is not true of Earth. In the Northern Hemisphere, people look out at different stars than they do in the Southern Hemisphere. In the Southern Hemisphere, you cannot see the North Star. In the Northern Hemisphere, you cannot see the Southern Cross. These are constellations that can only be seen from the respective hemispheres. Now imagine on a flat disk how this could ever be. It could not. So all of your misconceptions about the stars above and what you don't understand, that doesn't make the earth flat. The other thing is you continue to write that the United Nations map is the true map of the earth and we're being mocked by having it put right in front of our face. Again, the reason this is the logo for the United Nations is because you can only show all the continents of the earth on a two-dimensional object. You couldn't have a spherical symbol and be able to show all the continents of the earth. That's why it's this way. Now look, there's a lot of different flights that take place in this world that also prove the earth isn't flat. Johannesburg in South Africa to Sydney, Australia would look like this. From here to here, you'd fly across the landmass of Asia to get to Sydney from Johannesburg. But you don't do that. That's not the way that flight goes, and this is a flight people take every day. This entire flight is across the ocean. The entire flight's across the ocean. Now, Flat Earthers, are you really going to start saying that, you know, well, they're flying that way in a longer path to hide the truth of the shape of the earth? I mean, to whose benefit would this be? This flight takes place all day, every day, and it's entirely across the ocean because this is the shortest path from Johannesburg to Sydney on the spherical earth in which we live. Now let's look again at the flat earth map. That flight to Sydney on the flat earth map would be a straight line like this. That's not the way the flight goes. So, Again, everything you guys are believing, and I'm not going to use the word think because you're not thinking. You're just believing in bullshit that's been fed to you. And it's really pathetic. You know, I see how many of you are commenting that are always around my videos and normally complimenting and liking my work. But most of you must know where I stand on the flat earth. I've been speaking out against it since the summer of 2015. And nothing's changed in my arguments because nothing needs to change. Logic and reason. You cannot find it in any flat earther. All flat earth nonsense is based in confusion, not understanding, and logical fallacy. One more time. Should we do it one more time? Johannesburg, Sydney. On the flat earth, I mean, this would be the flight path. There'd be... No reason to fly all the way around out here, adding all this extra distance. You think uh, these companies are just going to waste all this fuel to protect the secret of the flat earth? <laughs> and, and again, I mean, people just continue to write the comment that the flat earth proves the creator. It, it just doesn't even make sense. The flat earth proves the creator? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. As if God could only make pancakes. You know? It doesn't make any sense. You want to believe... I don't know. I don't even know what you want to believe. You, you, you don't even want to believe in the Bible. Because nowhere in the Bible is it stated that the earth is flat. Not in a single place. It says the earth is an immovable object. You know? 
What exactly does that mean? The Bible's not clear in a lot of verses. So, flat earthers, you just got to learn to be quiet. You're an embarrassment to yourself. You're an embarrassment to everyone. Every last comment left by a flat earther just makes you guys all look like idiots. I don't want you guys to look like idiots. I don't want people who follow my work to be idiots. You know? That, that, that's, that, I mean, part of the reason that it bothers me so much is because after 9-11, I just thought I lived in a world of idiots and it was hopeless. People were just too dumb. And that's what this flat earth thing reminds me of. Reminds me that just people are too fucking dumb. You got to be so fucking dumb to get sucked into this thing. What don't you guys get? What don't you get about the stars? You just don't believe the facts? You ignore the facts? You cannot see the same stars in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere. You know? Or, or maybe I'm not understanding. Maybe you guys think that there's like uh, on the flat earth, there's people who are stuck to the bottom side of the flat earth. Maybe that's what you think. The southern hemisphere is on this side of the flat earth. Is, is that what it is? Okay, I'm done.